Hey, welcome back. Yesterday I showed you how I was able to take an ortho photo, detect some manhole covers and map them into a CAD program using drawing exchange format, DXF. You can see like I was able to successfully get these things to be pretty accurate. I had my friend send me over some ortho photos, but the thing is they were in a different format completely. It was a little discouraging because I was like, oh man, how many times am I going to have to rewrite my splitting software that goes and splits the images up into these little 200 pixel by 200 pixel images. But it so happens that two days ago I spoke with an old friend and he recommended several different open source software packages that I should look into. One of those packages is something called G. D A L Geospatial Data Abstraction Library. I started looking at how I could use GDAL to help me, and I found that GDAL actually has the ability to retile an ortho photo. The important thing here is that this photo has a lot of empty space or space that was never captured in an image. It just so happens that because the dimensions of the photo are rectangular, a lot of the ground that was captured in this ortho photo was not filling the entire rectangular frame, a lot of empty area. Let me just say that GDAL really helped me out, but it didn't have one little feature I needed. And I ended up having to modify the source code a little bit. It's written in Python and I had to modify it to ignore empty tiles. I could have done it with my own application, but it's nice to have a tailor-made application that does this. I was able to tile all these images. Another cool thing about GDAL's tiler script, as it's tiling out each tile, it can determine exactly what the coordinates of the top left corner of that tile are, which is awesome because previously I was doing all that myself by looking at the file name and figuring it out. GDAL does all that for me and it does that and here's the kicker it does that on both the JPEG ortho photo that I originally worked on and this new ECW format. It works on both of them and it's almost exactly the same command just with a different input and the outputs are identical. The reason that's great is that now I can write a script that takes this identical output and runs my machine vision program on that which saves me the hassle of having to handle multiple formats. GDAL is going to do that for me. That's my update for today. Really cool progress for the day. I'm super happy with it. And I'll see you next time.